Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to my weekly update. I know I said I'd be doing it from Great Yorkshire Show but you can see I'm here on farm getting the final bits of our, our Haley gym before they get completely done in and pecked to pieces by the rooks. Um, a, a fantastic show, sadly very short-lived for me as, as I had to get back here urgently, but I was so pleased that Deputy President Stuart Roberts and Tom Bradshaw were there. Very good reports back uh, from them. Uh, George Eustace was on the stand, masses of MPs, uh, a lot of engagement, and it is just so good for all of us to be back in front of you, our, our members again. Um, it's been a, a busy week. I had a meeting on Monday with Kwasi Kwarteng, the Secretary of State for Bayes, so a, a really productive meeting. It's always a challenge with the crossover between Bayes and, and DEFRA, and uh, the Secretary of State really keen to know what we think are the policies that will be needed for lowering emissions. So the engagement with Bayes is, is going to be critical. They are, of course, key players in the Sector Food Council. I'm trying to current, encourage the Secretary of State that actually his leadership as chair of that council would be really appreciated at the moment we don't have a ministerial lead of course when Michael Gove set it up he was chairing it and then David Rutley so you can't beat um, ministerial leadership on on these councils but it's also been uh, a week of the Henry Dimbleby food strategy and huge amounts of coverage from um, Prince Charles to Mick Jagger and everybody in between I was on the Today programme on Thursday with Tim Lang uh, and Justin King. Um, I think on the whole, it's, it's landed well. Um, big issues with taxes, big issues for sugar, but reassuring to hear what the Prime Minister was saying, that he did not want to see taxes. So that will be sending comfort to our sugar beet growers. I know when I've been talking to Michael Sly this week, you know, incredibly nervous with the challenges ahead uh, looking at, at taxes and, and salt and sugar so this is the start of the journey this is not not the end this is going to form some of the thinking of uh, the government white paper on a food strategy um, so I don't know whether you heard Henry Dumbleby's comments on trade, but, you know, really pushing for the top of government to be needing to come together. You know, he was saying massive challenges. You know, the government wants farmers to do so much more for biodiversity, so much more for the environment and producing food, going to the world of public monies for public goods. And we still don't have a response on the Trade Agriculture Commission report. Uh, and, and who knows, he was saying, what it looks like for farming. So I was really pleased to hear him picking up what we've been saying. I've been concerned, as you know, about the 30% reduction in, in meat. Um, we absolutely don't believe that this needs to be the case. It's about consumer choice, and above all else, it's about a healthy, balanced diet. I, I do think the challenges that he's highlighted around obesity, uh, the links with, with being massively overweight and COVID, the more we can get back to a healthy, balanced diet, natural ingredients, uh, and I think the, the point may be that that uh, strategy is missing at the moment is the enormous livestock improvements that we feel will be happening from feed additives, probiotics to genetics. Uh, the many, many things that will be changing uh, the way livestock is produced over, over the next decade, which is why we've always felt we can have the same number of livestock here. Indeed, I would say there is a moral imperative that we should, and we should be exporting what we're not consuming here. So it's the start of a journey, uh, desperately needed a food strategy, an island nation with 70 million people. I really hope now the government comes together, across government, I might add, because I think there are uh, big points around procurement uh, and the government uh, buying standards and indeed the Crown commercial contract to make sure we have more British food going into our hospitals, our military, our schools and our prisons. Massive market, £4 billion worth of market. So for me, as I said on the radio, the message is buy local, buy seasonal, buy British, look out for the Red Tractor logo to know uh, that you're getting uh, what you think you are, which is British food. So as ever from me, please do take care. Um, fantastic to have summer that's finally arrived, even if it's mid-July. Stay safe when you're harvesting. It's a busy period, a lot of pressure on, time pressure to look after yourselves. And I really look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care. Bye.